What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I am going to install some 1650 injectors from Fuel Injector Clinic into my, yeah, if you've watched any of the other videos, this wonderful piece of machinery right here, this is my fully built B18C. And it is completely done except for injectors and fuel rail which I have both of those but everything's sitting over here because I had to go to the junkyard and get these little spacers for the fuel rail so but yeah we're going to install that right now and uh, those do come with these pigtails that I actually have to wire in you know another thing I, if you watch the video I made my own harness yep didn't think about that so I have to cut those, solder those back in, but I figure we'll make a video about it. So stick with me and uh, enjoy. So what you're going to want to do when you first get these open is you're going to want to grease those O-rings and then a little bit around this bottom base O-ring. I just put a little bit of grease in those big openings. So yeah, and I just used a uh, regular assembly lube. It worked fine. Not. A dab will do you. That's definitely a small amount will do you. So, but yeah, we'll get those popped in and hopefully those spacers that I got work. I guess we'll find out. So, just take this, shove her into this hole. Get a nice tight fit. Right about like that. I don't know if you can even see that. It's pretty dark. But, yep, and then you can orient orientate that FIC logo or whichever way you want so I want mine to be pointed up so let's get all four of those in and show you what it looks like right about like that and then the hard part is trying to get these spacers in with these bolts We'll try it out. Three of them, three bolts. Here we go. Well, that's what it looks like all put together I did end up using those little spacers but I had to take my purple washers off the bolts because the threads weren't grabbing enough so but yeah I will uh, work on getting those wired in tomorrow and until then I guess it'll be like two seconds for you guys so I'll see you guys then so I got home from work today and I had a package on my porch from color fittings let's see what's in Oh yeah, we got a ton of stickers. Let's just dump this out. Oh. So I have my fuel catch can line separators. Should have two of those. My 10 a.n. 90s should have four of those and then the 10 an 45s should have four of those oh shit he even gave me a keychain that's cool what it's got a flashlight That's boss. This is what they look like on the catch cam. Looks pretty good. These will be my top feeds from my valve cover. These will be the ones from the back of the block. 
so well you can't see that at all so I have these two up here on the valve cover those ones will feed that one and that one and then I have can't really see it but there's one right here and, so then I got that one there and that one there that 45 out to the bottom two So, should be pretty nice. Alright, so I moved the engine closer to the door so I could use kind of like the natural light. And I'm going to start cutting my old injector clips off. And the order for these on most, like, I don't know, 90s I guess, Hondas, would be brown, red, blue, yellow. And I have paper because the guy I bought my injectors from told me. So brown, red, blue, yellow, and then crank pulley. So number one is brown, number two is red, number three is blue, and number four is yellow. So, and I've always been confused about that. And as far as the uh, positive and negative go, like these, it, I guess it doesn't matter as long as you keep them the same so on each one of these there's gonna be a yellow wire so there's one yellow and then one color so the brown is the color and then the yellow is just it's like I think the yellow is a ground but from what I've read and everything else it says it doesn't matter as long as you keep the colored wire to either red or black and the yellow wire to the opposite color so that might be a little bit confusing so the brown wire on mine so the brown wire is going to go to red the red wire is going to go to red the blue wire is going to go to red and then the yellow wire so the yellow without the black line is gonna go to red. The yellow with the black line on all of them are gonna go to black. So I'm gonna use them as my grounds and then the color wire as my positive. Does that make sense? But yeah, let me know down in the comments if that doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get to this. I gotta extend some things and shorten some things. One more thing is I'm gonna show you what you'll probably need. So I got some wire stripper snips uh, this little helping hands thing it works really well for holding the wires while you solder obviously you'll need some solder I got an assortment some flux just helps the solder flow and then I like to use this uh, this friction tape it's by m3 this stuff works really well for like cleaning your things up and then assortment of heat shrink depending on what size you need, and then a good old fashioned soldering iron. And I actually got this one from Radio Shack, RIP Radio Shack. I've had it for a really long time and it works really well. Um, but yeah, we'll get to it. We'll see you in a minute. So then this is what it looks like when it's all wired in. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. I'll uh, turn it real quick, hold on. One, two, three. Four. So it looks pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, wouldn't recommend doing this if you don't know much about wiring. But if you do, it doesn't hurt to try. So yeah, soldering's not not that hard. It's just it's time consuming. It takes quite a bit of time. So, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you've seen, subscribe. Comment down below if uh, you have any questions and leave a like but until next time peace and i'm gonna leave a link down below for colorfittings.com the guy's not getting enough recognition i feel like he does pretty good quality you know parts and he's a good guy over there joseph so i'm gonna leave his info down below just go give it a like follow his youtube channel like him on instagram 
see where we can get this so but yeah i have all his his fittings and they're just they're nice they're like really good quality the machine works great i just i i don't know i feel like he's not getting enough enough recognition i mean he only has like 24 subs let's let's get that up there see you next time peace